Watch. Christy Giles' husband Jan Silliers reacts to her cause of death. Jan Silliers says he's ready for the truth to come out. After two men were charged in connection with the murders of Christy Giles and Hilda Marcella Cabrales Arzola, Giles' husband shared that he is feeling relieved. With the case's progress. I am very relieved to hear that the Los Angeles DOS office has committed to going forward with the murder charges against David Pierce and Brant Osborne. Cillier said in an exclusive statement to E! News on July 5th, There can never be true justice for the deaths Christie and Marcella. Nothing will ever bring them back, and their deaths will affect the rest of our lives. He added, the best we can hope for now is that the full truth comes out and that they are put away for the maximum amount of time, so they can no longer hurt anyone else. In a statement to E! News, Pierce's attorney defended his client. Mr. Pierce strongly denies any wrongdoing in these unfortunate deaths, his attorney Jacob Glucksman told E! News. It has taken nearly a year to file the charges because the evidence is so glaringly weak. The DOS office and law enforcement have had trouble locating any fire and just seem to be breathing a lot of smoke. It is currently unclear if Osborne has obtained legal representation and who can comment for him. Silliers previously described his wife as a woman who was very kind to everybody she met. She lived her life to the fullest, he told E! News in April. She had a great group of friends that loved her and admired her. She brought a lot of joy to a lot of people's lives. On November 13, 2021, Giles and Cabrales Arzola were left unresponsive outside two different hospitals in Los Angeles County after a night out. While Giles, 24, was pronounced dead that evening, Cabrales Arzola remained in critical care before she died in the following weeks. According to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner's Office, both women died from multiple drug intoxication and officials ruled both deaths to be. One month later, Pierce, Osborne, and Michael Ansbach, 47, were arrested in connection to Giles and Cabrales Arzola's deaths. Pierce was charged with manslaughter. While Ansbach and Osborne were both accused of being accessories to manslaughter, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office previously declined to charge the men with crimes connected to the women's deaths and sent the case back to detectives for further investigation. In a July 5 press release, Los Angeles District Attorney George Gaskin confirmed that Pierce is now charged with two counts of murder and two counts of sale, transport, furnish a controlled substance. Osborne was charged with two counts of accessory after the fact. Both men are scheduled to be arraigned on July 11. Ansbach is not charged in the case. In December 2021, Pierce was arrested with sexually assaulting four women, unrelated to the Giles Cabrales Arzola case, according to Gaskin. He was charged with two counts of forcible rape and one count each of rape of an unconscious or asleep person and sexual penetration by a foreign object, according to a press release from the district attorney's office published at the time and obtained by E! News. For the release, Pierce was accused of sexually assaulting a woman in August 2010, raping a woman in February 2019 and raping two other women in separate incidents in 2020. The case remains ongoing with Pierce's attorney denying the allegations. At a news conference on July 5, Gaskin asked for other potential victims to step forward and contact investigators if they had contact with either Pierce or Osborne.